I'm about to feel icky. I can't get a big tire. <laughs> I don't know if you can touch the pedals or not. <laughs> maybe after Tony said I could make a lap in it, but maybe after we work on it, I'll feel comfortable. The last time I worked on it, I'm like, I ain't taking a lap. <laughs> Just a few things that go on here at TSR. You think it's all race car build, it's not. It's kind of impressive to see how big of a difference it makes in here. It just looks, looks so nice. I just wish we didn't have carpet. We gotta get Nick in here? I mean, I, I, used to, I used to do tile. I could put some tile in here. We both did. In a previous <laughs> life. We were together doing tile for a second. Yeah, we did. Hey. It lasted all of like two or three days though. <laughs> Jason didn't last long on the tile, boys. <laughs> no, I made it a year. You did a whole year, don't lie. No, I did. I worked. I worked for. Uh, I worked. I did the tile in Harlow when I was in welding school for a year. With Nick. With Nick. I remember before you got there. I, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember before you got there. I remember before you got there. Oh, okay. I remember Jason coming in for three days and then leaving because we were on a big commercial job. That's what I remember. <laughs> yeah, see, when I came and did tile with. Well, we worked together. I didn't have to be there. It was uh, Nick oh, needed help, oh. and he pulled a favor, right? So I came in, oh. and obviously you paid me, but I came in for a few days and slanked some tile. Oh, okay, that's how. It went. But that's a job that'll make you be like, No, I'm good. Started a race car shop. I figured I just had to worry about being better at welding, <laughs> but now to be worried about better at putting things in bags. <laughs> So yeah, so you, you know, in the uh, you know, world of making other things better, when people get their race car parts, you don't want their stuff to look like a kid <laughs> threw it all in a box and <laughs> mixed it up. So over the years, we've got better at packaging and got fancier tools. Now we have this fancy thing that melts. Man, look at that, almost didn't have enough bag. And just put that on there and then that seals it. So then, now when you get your race car parts, your doublers are in these nice bags and you can't lose them. So and it does, it does look, I mean, way nicer than a Ziploc from Walmart. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> Professional packer Jason. Yeah, and then every morning me and Rick, we pull parts together. And this is kind of... This is our stack today? Yeah. Light day. It's a light day. So Mondays Mondays and Tuesdays are normally the worst, wouldn't you say? Not worst, oh. best. Yeah, best and... Yeah, and then uh, Wednesday and Thursday kind of dies off. And then Friday normally comes our back around. I guess that's payday. So <laughs> uh, we get we get more than... Starts back all up on Monday. We come in too. So I try to every morning get in. Me and Rick do this. Then I go in and check emails for a bit, answer a lot of stuff back. If we miss your email, I apologize, but we got to do a lot. I got to run a time lapse of the phone, just showing how many times we pick it up, put it down, <laughs> pick it up, put it down. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, nonstop. Yeah, you would, uh, and we are very humbled, we're very appreciative, um, but you would not believe the amount of phone calls that a race car shop gets. <laughs> it's unreal. Ricky had a good idea though. So I feel like we need to start a hotline where it could just be a voicemail. You guys just leave and call and tell us about your build. Just get it off your chest. Tell us every little detail. We want to hear it. We may just not, we may be busy. Jason may not be packaging. He may be out welding. So we're just going to open up this hotline for you to unload and tell us about your bill. I think it's great. Innovative in our, in our world. It's 24 hours a day. You yes. can call at any point. Yeah. When your wife won't listen, we will. Yeah, <laughs> they're perfect. Dude, the wives will be giving that number out like <laughs> just fast. <laughs> There's a lot of trying to fix this printer so I can send out these orders.
One eternity later. Mm. Success! Finally! That only took 45 minutes. Two minute unplug, that was the trick. Got the packages all finished up just in time. It looks like Tony McKinney just pulled up with the trailer. He's dropping off a big tire uh, car that the boys will be working with. So uh, let's go over on the shop side and see what goes on over there. Whose idea was it to do this thing? Look at you in shorts, I, too. You're crazy. <laughs> we could have done this in 50 degree weather. <laughs> I told you Thursday or Friday, you picked today. I guess you should have came yesterday. It's a little warm. Was it 50 yesterday? Was it, I don't, it got warmer yesterday. I don't know. It'll probably be 50 tomorrow. Hey, you know this thing's got big tires on it? We don't work on some big tires. <laughs> I, I figured we'd hear your breaking moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that wheel tub. <laughs> Hard on the exclusive You think we rubbed it a few times? <laughs> people, were going, people were going, what's that smoke? What's that smoke? I said, it's rubbing the wheel tub. They said, there's no way. That much smoke comes from that. We pulled it out. Said, Damn it, rubbed more than I thought it did. <laughs> well, yeah, you got duct tape holding it together. To. You hard on the equipment, bro. I didn't know if you wanted to. Nah, Brad, or you can use a template. They're not right. I know who cut them the first time. Yeah, and they're not right. <laughs> You said you wanted a shell, right? Yeah, it's pretty much, right? You got a shell. Rear bumper for this thing? For what? No, because then the wind catches it. I hate that thing. <laughs> <laughs> the bumper is just a cheap wheelie bar. <laughs> All it's going to do is stop you from going over, and we got the good ones. He didn't even blow the body shop off of it. Look at this thing. I was going to wash it and wax it. Yeah. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Those are some big tires. Yeah, we worked on them before, but... And we have built big tire cars before. We just, that's just not really what we're known for. And you're about to be. Yeah, we're going to have Tony this year be his suspension consultants. We're gonna have shirts and everything. Co collared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real nice. <laughs> he's actually, he's gonna fly me and Brad to the racetrack. <laughs> I'm gonna get out. I just can't wait to see you dress up for a change. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. There you go. Thank you, sir. The brakes work in the same? What brakes? Oh, all right. <laughs> they work. Man, I wish we could get this thing down to this way. Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. Would not hurt my feelings. Whee! Pull mush, back. Tony, mush. Pull back on the brake pedal. That's my line lock. <laughs> <laughs> the bad thing is he's going to catch me panting now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sitting here dying. You're going to have to give me mouth to mouth. I do it for you, bud. Recreation or resuscitation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both. <laughs> yeah, you like to see homos naked. That's cool, man. Whatever. You know what you're going to the back half of it. <laughs> so I guess we'll start with uh, the wheel tubs need to go as high as they can. Yeah. Like if they... Hey, do you want us to cut that sweet bubble in there and put a, like a, a trailer no, fender no, no, in the... I don't, <laughs> listen, I do not want up tubs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we have to leave them factory appearing. <laughs> like what's, what's messed up is we literally have the most factory appearing car. We got stock wheel well openings. We got... Like everything is as it should be. We don't try to manipulate the rules or interpret the rules. We, yeah. We saw what we saw, we did what we did. Yeah, you did good. So we, I want to keep true to that. Yeah. And if we get outran because our car is cheated, well, he knows what he has to look like. Yeah. 
you know. So I just want to shove them up there as far as we can and try to get the right height down. All right. And then uh, obviously I want bigger four link bars in there. Yeah, it's got like one inch four link bars. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, wheel top paint. I mean, did you have it? You didn't even have it even with where this was cut. You no, know, no. There was uh, there was probably an inch load. Yeah. So I mean, we can trim all this. Isn't that awesome? So, like, we were an inch down. Yeah. And then I'm not a fan of the four link brackets. Well, it is old school. They got, uh, yeah. they got the five eight holder. If we can change them and put the more adjustability in it. Yeah. Because right now you can see I'm on the bottom hole. I got my bar spread, but I can't get my angle out. Yeah. We do make four link brackets. So we make. <laughs> Let's see what your four link brackets can do for C4. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, the shocks. If we can build a shock mount and move the tops in, that would really be great. But if we can't, this works. Yeah, they kind of they kind of got an angle of the dangle right now. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't want to have to cut the car apart again. You got two shock tabs, two sets of shock. Oh, okay. Tabs. You want to hear a story behind that? <laughs> God, we got, he's up. got options. <laughs> so when we picked the car up, it was built on a 107 inch wheelbase. These things are 110. Oh, so gotcha. it was a legal one we got. It. All per, yeah, yeah. Per spec. Okay, yeah. so whoever whoever laid this out didn't lay it out right. Yeah. Um, it is what it is. So all the four link brackets didn't work. The shock mounts or the shock tabs didn't Because it work. was built for 107, you guys wanted it to be. Yeah. Well, you didn't want it. It had, it had, had to be had within to be the rule. Yeah. So I can go up to 112. So if we lay stagger on the front, if we can move the bottom, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But right now we are dead on 110 inch wheel base. Mm -hmm. We'll fix it. <laughs> fix our screw ups. <laughs> you didn't have those screw ups. This could be better. Yeah. I, that's, that, that's my whole goal. I want to make it the best we can make it. Yeah. Like, everybody asks me at the end of the year what my, what my goal is for this year. And uh, somebody said, Are you, you want to shoot for top 10? I said, Hell no, I want to win. Like, <laughs> I, I did top 16 my very first year out. A true rookie. Year. Yeah. And uh, with He's definitely new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think we can win this. I think you do well, man. Yeah, I agree with you. So why would you leave? Is. Why would you go race if you don't think you can win? I, I think we can win. You ain't first, you're last. So we got cars coming in. Rear end housing's going out. It's non-stop. I don't know what the lighting's gonna be like with this, but in and out. He's going out today. <laughs> the four <forward. laughs> <laughs> I used to be really bad at four-wheel driving. Now you're just all right? I, yeah, no, I'm just all right. <laughs> Brad and Jay are way better. Jay's actually took that four. I think he's, I think he's like a certified. Certified for life? Yeah, certified four-wheel <laughs> driver. Watch you look how fast it is. It hits another gear. You feel it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's rough. It's solid rubber. I think this is a good way to end today's vlog-ish episode. Got to see a little bit of what goes on between vacuuming, vacuum sealing, shipping out, receiving. It all happens here at the shop. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see that we do, leave it in the comments. Please like, subscribe. I got to get better at this YouTube thing. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, till next time.